Welcome to the latest video guys and in this one we're going to design this beautiful beautiful weather card in HTML and CSS. This card is originally designed by the team Code Grain. You should definitely check them out on Instagram at the the Code Grain. They're a great web design and development agency and this is basically a collab with them. All right, and before we get started, I just have to request you all to just hit the like button once because it really helps with pushing this content to more and more people and that's all I want right now. All right, so as you can see, I have a basic boilerplate over here and the link to the style sheet for the styles.css and over here I have some base styles. Let me just turn on word wrap. Yeah, and this is just a link for the Google font Joseph and Sands. And then on the root, I have just defined a few variables for the linear, uh, for the gradient and then the sky blue and the yellow colors. And this is a basic small reset sort of and just setting the font family to Joseph and Sands. And then on the body, I just have this uh, to center the main content basically. So this is the end product that we'll be working towards. So let's get started now. First of all, inside this body, I'll have a main tag for the card. So now let's style this, save this and write the rule set for main. Yeah, we need to give it a height. 430 pixels and then we need to give it a width 320 pixels then a background and for the background I'm going to use the variable var background gradient and this is how you can use variables inside till, uh, inside CSS basically just write var and then inside brackets specify the variable name yeah and I've defined the variable for the background gradient over here it's a linear gradient which goes from light blue to darker blue to a darker blue that's it so let's see what this gives us we have this card sort of now we'll give it a border radius 24 pixels and overflow hidden hidden yeah now the next part as you can see is the sky area this is also html and not images so we have to do it in code so i'll make a section over here and give it a class of sky and inside this we're going to have three clouds so it has to be cloud into i which is three so we have three clouds and each of them has a class of cloud one cloud two cloud three and then we also need to have a sun not on sun yeah that's it and now we can position this and style this properly now the sky we'll have to position with the position absolute on the top so we can say position absolute and then top zero worth 100 percent and because we are doing a position absolute over here we need a position relative on the main because for the sky we need the sky to be positioned absolutely relative to the main so we have to add a position relative to the main for that simple reason all right so after that we can go on to style our clouds so dot cloud hyphen one we can give it a width let's say 100 percent height 60 px background has to be var sky blue let's see if you can see it now yep it's right over here on the top we'll give it a border radius of 24 pixels <clears throat> yeah good to go and i'll just copy this over for the next cloud as well so dot cloud 2 this has to be 55 pixels it is smaller than the first cloud and the background is white yeah but its width is less its width is 75 percent but now you see it's not in the center so what we can do is give it a margin zero auto so this will you know give it a margin of zero on top and bottom and a margin of auto on left and right but you realize we will have to do this margin zero auto 
on each of these devs which is the first cloud second cloud third cloud and then the sun as well we should make this as a reusable style rather than this so what we can do is take this off command x control x and then we can say dot sky and then this angled bracket and say div margin zero auto so what this will do is for the every div that is directly inside of sky it's going to apply margin zero auto and maybe we can extract border radius as well because we have a border radius of 24 pixels on all three of the skies and then a border radius of 50 pixels on the 50 percent on the sun we can change that later on so now we can do cloud three give it a width of let's say 50 percent height 40 pixels background sky blue sky blue yeah and that gives us this but the thing is in our original card these clouds are overlapping and we can do that with negative margins so let's see how to do that on the cloud 2 i need to add a margin top and this margin top would be of negative 30 pixels so this will basically pull it up and i maybe made a mistake or something let's see what's the issue why it isn't happening open up the dev tools and inspect because on every one of them we have a margin uh margin of zero auto i guess that's why that is overriding this margin top so we can add hi important to this it's a quick fix you shouldn't usually use important as a fix but it's a quick fix you can later figure out how to maintain the specificity so that you don't have to use the, uh, this exclamation mark important and then we need to add a margin top to cloud 3 as well and for this one let's say minus 15 pixels yep looks good all right our last step is to design the sun we'll give it a width of 90 pixels and height of 90 pixels and a background of there yellow yeah we can see now we need to give it a border radius of 50 percent and again that won't take effect because in this one we have set the border radius is 24 pixels so we'll have to use dots huh? exclamation mark important and then for the margin top as well we give it minus 70 pixels and make this important hmm. so you see it's right in place now like our first card as well we can see it's the same maybe the width should be a little larger on the last cloud so instead of 75 percent we can say 60 percent yep that's better all right after that we have to move on to our content section so we'll add another section to our html dot content and over here we'll have an h1 let's say 29 ampersand dg for the degree and then h3 partly cloudy cool and right now you can't see them but let me open the dev tools to show you guys that uh, when we you know inspect the html inside the main this content section is there but it's right on the top and it's behind the clouds that's why you can't see so all we need to do is on dot content we need to add a margin top of let's say 140 pixels yep and i'll add a text line center and text uh, and color white yep that's better now let's style the h1 and h3 i'll close this dot content h1 is on size atpx and dot content h3 is font size 
25 px and another thing that you might notice is this partly cloudy is quite bold over here and in this design it is really light so you can change the font weight as well and i say font weight 300 that makes it light and also this text doesn't seem that well aligned but you know technically it's center aligned but we can't feels like that because we have this extra degree symbol in the end so it's pushing the content into the center but it's not visually center aligned so you can add a bit of margin left on the h1 let's say 20 pixels to make it visually center aligned all right so after this part comes this detail grid so we will make another div for it inside the section and call it details and inside details there have to be four divs we have four kinds of details right minimum maximum precipitation and humidity and inside each detail we have two types of texts so one is value let's say 19 ampersand deg and then we have p dot label which is let's say minimum and i'll copy this over in all these sections for now so that we can focus on the code and later on change the values yeah so now you can see they're here but we need them to be you know uh, in a grid in a uh, two column two row grid so what we need to do is on dot details we can say display grid but this won't make any difference because we haven't defined any columns or rows yet so we can say grid template columns 1fr 1fr because we need two columns of 1fr and then we can say let's say height 100 percent yeah now i also need a margin top because it's right against the text we can say 16 pixels of margin top and the text again leads to have a lighter font weight so we can say font weight 300 hmm. that looks better and we need to add a bit of row gap as well gap between vertical uh, horizontal rows so we'll add 8 pixels of row gap hmm. and now we can specifically target value and give it a font size of 36 px then target dot label and give it a font size of 14 px let's see yep looks nice looks decent another small tip instead of writing instead of writing 1fr 1fr i could use repeat it's a fu css function first argument is how many times you want to repeat that is two and the second argument is what value you want to repeat that is 1fr and it gives us the same effect so our last step is just to you know switch out these values to be proper so that we can see the layout in full swing just give me a second for that 19% instead of degree precipitation and let's say 22% humidity all right guys so that's it let's compare it with the initial version so i guess except the box shadow everything else is exactly the same and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something again definitely go check at the rate the code grain on instagram they're amazing guys and they their quality of work is next level definitely check their account and if you have any web design or something needs just hit them up on instagram so that's it for this video guys see you in the next tutorial